as to why it is so important for you to 10x your income in the next seven years or less okay this 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 has to resonate with you all right it's extremely important that you get this i was having a conversation with a gentleman i believe he's 51 years old according to the words out of this gentleman he described himself as average and simple okay i'm gonna let you know right off the bat i do not resonate with the word average with the word simple when describing denzel napoleon rodriguez i do not resonate with that why i just got done telling you about the levels of authority and how unique and authentic that you are and that there will never be and that there will never there never was and there never will be another one of you so how can you possibly be average based on those facts alone those universal facts how can you possibly be average anyways I was talking to this gentleman 51 years old makes good money has a good career right cool simple guy his strategy is simply to save and invest in etfs index funds then when he is 59 to 65 this was his range that he'll be quote unquote financial free financial freedom quote unquote according to his numbers so we broke it down i said okay interesting so you're gonna save money in a bank account earning less than one percent okay so you're earning nothing and you're going to invest your money in ETFs, index funds via your 401k and Roth IRA. That's it. That's all he's got. 401k, Roth IRA, right? Mind you, this person does not make over 100 grand a year. It's under 100 grand. So he's got, what, 10 years, roughly, to achieve the dream that he wants. Currently, his combined assets, including or not including the mortgage... He's got, uh, I think, around 400K built up. According to his numbers in this time frame, with his investing strategy and saving strategy, he will accumulate on the low end anywhere from two to three million dollars. Okay. Comment if two to three million dollars is a lot of money around this age. Let me know if that's a lot of money. Right. Let me know your thoughts. Yes, a lot of money no not enough money it's not that it's not a lot of money it's not enough money but you let me know you be the judge so anyway he's going to acquire anywhere from two to three million dollars with his strategy all right now there's a little crack in the system that i was revealing to him that he was not accounting for all right and that crack in the system it's called taxes and there's really three components to it there's taxes inflation and devaluation okay taxes inflation devaluation these are the three numbers three things he was not accounting for in his strategy so let's run it he wants to be average and simple he makes under 100k a year so he lives you know relatively below his means two to three million dollars is what he will live off of okay and his strategy is you know as soon as he amounts that amount of money you're you know you're supposed to do uh, a four percent withdrawal to live off of so three million that's a hundred twenty thousand a year more than what he makes currently 10 years from now so he'll, he'll be able to withdraw a hundred twenty thousand a year at four percent right that's the standard and you live off of that right the problem is not accounting for taxes, inflation, and devaluation. But let's not even include that just yet. Let's say his cost of living is 70 grand a year, right? So 120 minus 70, you're left with 50, right? $50,000 divided by 12, he would have a free cash flow of 4,100 bucks. Per month not bad right not bad at all okay now this is perfect 
in an average simple world, but we don't live in an average simple world. We live in a very chaotic world, a fast moving world, a world where there is taxes, inflation, and devaluation. Okay? So if my cost of living today is $70,000, I guarantee you 10 years from now, your cost of living is going to go nowhere but up. On the low end, just looking at inflation today, take the 70 grand times that by 7%. That's $4,900. So $4,900 plus 70,000 in just one year, your cost of living went up four to $5,000. That's what that means. And then it compounds itself. So you can imagine 4,900, two years, three years, four years, five years, six years, seven years. Oh, we're at seven years. My cost of living is over a hundred grand already. What is that doing to my cash flow, ladies and gentlemen? It's abusing it. That's just inflation alone. We're not even including taxes. Now, because this gentleman decided to be average and simple, he accumulated two to $3 million. And I used the high number, $3 million. Because he accumulated it in his name, you are taxed at the highest bracket, okay? If you're in California, take 50% off the top, at least, okay? It's probably more, right? So let's just say 40%, $3 million times 40% off the top. Over a period of withdrawing money, you'll pay $1.2 million in taxes, right? So 3 million minus 1.2 million, you're left with 1.8 net, okay? So 40%, went to taxes, your cost of living, average person's cost of living nowadays is like 40% of what they make. What are you left with, right? So 40% is your cost of living, 720. So 1.8 minus 720 this is being conservative. Now you're left with a mill. How long can this money possibly last you? Even if it's growing at a rate of return of four to 6% or even 8%. When you tack in this, see the issue? Do you guys see this? This is the issue with the strategy that you've been taught, that I've been taught. To save your money, invest in, in someone else's mission, in someone else's vision, invest in the stock market, hope and pray, the money will be there. And then I said, here's the last ingredient that you're missing, my friend. Losses, right? What if you get higher than your goal? So you get 3.5 million by age 60, 60 years old. You, accum you accumulate 3.5 million between your Roth and your 401k. Good for you. Wow. That's awesome. So you retire in at age 60 and you got 3.5 mil, 3.5 mil times 4% is 140,000. Okay. So you're going to withdraw 140, right? At age 60, that's what you're going to live off of throughout the year. Cost of living has gone up, right? So let's say, eh, be conservative. Say the cost of living now is 90 grand. You're still, what, net 50K positive. So same number, 4,100 cash flow per month, okay? Now, what happens when 08 happens again? When the real estate market crashes? When the stock market crashes in 07, 08? What happens when another pandemic goes breaks out? Like, like what happened in 2020. What happens when the market corrects and goes down that year? So you withdraw 140K. So 3.5 minus 140,000 is 3.36, right? And then the market drops 25%. So you lose 840K. So it goes from 3.36 million and in just one year, you lose 25%. So now you're at 2.5 mil. And then the market rebounds and it grows 10%. So it finishes off the year 10%. You lost 25, but you made 10. 
you're still in the negative, right? 2.5, 2 0, right? So you're at 2.772 mil. And then in, in one year, times 4%, uh oh, cost of living probably went up five grand. And withdrawing 4%, now you can't withdraw 140, you do 110. Or if you did kept it at 140 because that was your desired number that you wanted to live off comfortably, average and simple, look at your issue. You minus 140 from 2.772 mil. Even if you grew positive 15% that next year, you're still negative. Do you see that? And then I didn't even I didn't even throw in the other kicker that I said to this gentleman. I said, there's one more thing you're missing. And he's like, dude, what do you mean? I thought <laughs> taxes, inflation, devaluation. I thought that that already was enough for me. And then you threw in the losses. I said, dude, I'm not done yet. There's one more thing that you're forgetting. This pretty little word right here. Fees. I said, my friend, in your little cute little Roth in your 401k, you're paying anywhere from one to three percent in annual fees on the total amount of money that is in there. So let's say you're paying two percent. In annual fees, 3.5 mil times 2%, $70,000 went towards fees. The reason why you don't see it is because you're being told you're earning 8% rate of return, right? So 3.5 million times 8% is 280 grand, right? So you, you earn 280, but you had to pay the 70 grand in fees, right? 2%. So your actual internal rate of return is less than 8%. You think you're getting an average rate of return of eight because you're an average person. So you're simple. You want to keep things simple and average. I'm telling you right now for my people watching 45 and up, it is not going to work. You're going to hit this age 59 and you're going to call cousin D who's cousin D that's me. You've been listening to grandpa Dave Ramsey from age 25 to 50. You came across Uncle G, Grant Cardone, but he turned you off because he curses a lot and he's like, you know, I, you know, does all this stuff and he doesn't align with your spirit. But then Cousin D came along, right? Who's in the kingdom and I'm taking the best of both worlds and I'm purifying it in righteousness with the authority that I've been authorized to conduct myself because my author is my manufacturer, my creator of all things who operates outside of space, time and matter that created space, time and matter and has given me authority. I have authorization and I authentically deliver this message to you to say, hey, if you are over the age of 45 and average is your strategy to financial wealth and simple mindedness, you will not make it. Let me make that very, very clear. You will not make it.